we start on planet. Let me think here. Let's go. Let's go. Sheep. Tobia. There we go. And so begins the the reign of the the horrible mutant beast we're gonna create. <laughs> Yes, and so we begin. As you can tell, we're a herbivore, so we have to eat vegetables. You jerk! That's a part, boys. We gotta go get it, did. Oh, baby, here we go. This is the festival right here. Oh, my goodness. Dude got a football tackle. You saw that? The consumption of protein-packed vegetables have made us evolve, and now we're super fast. Look at us go. Of course, swimming in radioactive Chernobyl water gives us the ability to have a brain. As you see, we're on the path to consciousness. May I take your head? May I take your head? As you see, we may look like a weird, oversized mouse, axolotl, hybrid mutant thing, but we have legs. And yes, we will rule the world. This weird alien mutant world. Thousands of years of evolution has turned us into an even more hideous, repulsive being. We've got a beak to sing, we've got more legs, and even more Chernobyl radiation. And again, our brain grows even more massive, so we can use this, this hideous creature to conquer the world. Look at them. Such a peaceful species. Kinda horrific and kinda ugly too if you think about it. Oh no. They're walking on two feet now. The moment we get opposable thumbs, it's over. What the freak? Hey, aliens! Oh my gosh, what the freak is that? Oh, what the freak is that? What in the hall of blue is going on in the background? And so, like some sort of strange mutant musical messiah, we go throughout spreading peace and prosperity or something like that. I don't know, man. I'm really stretching here. Oh, this is our test. Behold! Our brains! They're too massive. To fit in our skulls. And as such, they just explode out of our ears. Oh. What a tragedy it is to be so intelligent. Yes. Due to some sort of science fiction mumbo jumbo that I don't really care to explain right now. They have somehow evolved to have wooly coats and droopy ears. It's a sheep, okay? Just just call it a sheep. I'll be I'll keep it real with you, you keep it real with me, and I'll keep it real with you. It's a sheep, okay? What do you want from me? And now we see a wild sheep thing grabbing a stick he's infatuated incredible look at his brain and now he's tenderizing the ground it's genius look at him go he's putting so much effort into that thing his pot belly cripple almost blew a nipple off look at him just so dedicated look at him go what a mad man he pointed the stick to the moon. Look at him go. He threw it up. 
Look at it go. Look at the look at the form. Look at the twirl. And now they're building a fire. Look at them go. And so we go about creating music and harmony and looking absolutely ridiculous like some sort of musical superhero with the freakiest looking outfit from the village of green to brown to orange yes to even the village of white we go around spreading the joy of music and uniting people as you see, we're throwing up flowers and cards, it looks like. I'd like to leave. Yes, with our united efforts, we begin to build uh, bigger things and nicer things. Yes, in fact, we even build a tower and we take ideas. What about religion? Yes, we make our own religion. It's great. We're gonna make our own religion. It's gonna be great. Just like he said. It's gonna involve eyeballs and stuff. Another idea. We're going to build cars and stuff like that to further our political agendas. And then another idea. We're going to bake pie, but no one else seems to really agree with that. But never to fear, we have a capital, we have religion, and of course, we have vehicles. Yes, we build our own civilization. There's fireworks going off, as you can see. It's a day to celebrate. Look at them. Civilization. Who would have known? We go converting cities with our power and our determination or something. Yeah, look at us go. And just like that, we claim cities as our own. By the time they even know what's going on, it's too late. We convert them to our religion, to our cause, and we gain even more power. Another one. We claim it. We own it as ours. All take up our flag and our religion and our cause. One by one, each nation falls under our extreme... It, uh, what do you call it? Let me think of a word here. Well, you know what I'm saying. We, we claim one after another, like a sweeping broom all across the nation. Another one. We go across the land, claiming everything in our wake, until nothing, nothing is left. Enemies stand no chance. They fall one by one by one. Another one. Does it even need repeating at this point? We are unstoppable. Nothing can stop us. Not blue, not green, not this, not that. And so begins the greatest scheme perhaps ever to happen. By using Fanatical Uprising, we change the entire world. And so, 
every nation of the world falls to our beliefs. Every last one. Gotta know exactly who you are. Lord have mercy. Of course, there are some that don't always understand that we are, of course, not food. But as we grow closer to the center of the universe, we come across a highly dangerous species. The Groks. And now, with the Groks hot on my tail, I can finally make it to the core. Get in there! Oh man. Ooh, look at the health! I've got nothing left, man. Slowly floating in. What do we see? The universe. A black hole. Death itself. But what's inside Greetings, of it? My friend. A you voice. You've traveled very far and overcome many obstacles. Along the way, you have encountered many of your diverse, far-flung siblings. Precious few of them are making this far. Your heroic efforts have proven you deserving. And worthy of advancement to the next level of your existence. The universe you inhabit is but one of many. I see. Countless worlds, unseen but yet connected. Uh-huh. Your creative efforts have not gone unnoticed. Indeed, they have spilled into these other unseen worlds, just as your crazy. world has been enriched by them. It is now time for you to join us. Join us. <laughs> what is going on, bro? No, just kidding. It's not scary. Indeed, the time today, they are good. What in llamas? Oh no, it's the sheep. The sheep have gone to the fourth dimension. We're fourth dimensional! So much and possesses such great powers. I'm glad you asked. What did I ask? Oh man. The power. The power to create and spread life. The power. Intelligence and understanding throughout the cosmos. Ah. Use this power wisely. Use this power so that we may one day become as one. That is, I mean, in a metaphorical sense. Okay. You got it, Steve. Oh. One last thing. What's up, Steve? We nearly sold out of last day for wonderful time to up to one of our largest stars, and a rare planet in its orbit. Okay. If you're in the neighborhood, we'd love to have you by for a free breakfast and short presentation. Just look for the third rock from Saul. What are you talking about? Where are we? I have been awarded the Staff of Life, and thus we have beat the game of sport. A game I have never beaten until now. Yes, this moment is monumental for both you and I. Now, as we transcend mortal consciousness and gain access to the spiritual plane, I can only feel nothing but spiritual happiness. All of our struggles, all of our pain, over the last billion years, it has all been for this sweet bliss.